World Natural Hair Show. After the World Natural Hair Health and Beauty Show. There we go. And I just wanted to recount the happenings. I don't have any pictures. Sorry. But... It was, it was Saturday and Sunday. It was extremely packed on Saturday. I'm talking, you're trying to walk and people are stepping on your heels type packed. Um, Sunday, to me, was a much better day to go because I think everybody was trying to go on Saturday. And I went kind of early. And just, just in general, I was surprised that I didn't get as many samples as I thought I was going to get. Like, if, with a title like the World of Natural Hair Health and Beauty Show, I would think that people are going to give me samples. Not because, well, yeah, I like free stuff, but I'm not going to sit here and spend $20, $30 on a product because you're not going to give me a sample so I can't try it out, so I can't see if I like it before I commit to $20, $30, $40 for a product. It's just not going to work for me. So... Needless to say, <laughs> I didn't purchase any products. If I would have purchased a product, it probably would have been um, from the Talia Wajid, however you pronounce her last name's line. But I didn't. And I I did not go buy the Jane Carr solution. I heard they had some pretty good deals. I'm mad at that. They had everything there from people selling hair products, of course, to foot scrubber to I, I remember seeing a station where a lady had I'm guessing it was like raw food and you could purchase a little to-go container of whatever she had laid out they were selling all types of um skirts and shirts and dresses they had just you could have gotten an out they had makeup they had weave they had absolutely everything there <laughs> it was really a hair health and beauty like they they had classes geared towards um learning how to to take care of your body better and eating better and how to they had one geared towards fri fibroids and some they had a lot i think it really did deal with hair health and beauty so i'll commend them for that Oh, and about the whole um, having to pay 30 40 whatever dollars before even trying out a product, I remember I went to the Urban Bella one, and I wanted, I just wanted some not today leave-in conditioner. They are like, oh, no, we sell it in a set. So I was like, well, what about the Miss Jessie's? Oh, no, we sell it in a set. These sets are like $75. I don't want to sit here and spend almost a hundred dollars on a set, and I don't even know. <laughs> First of all, their little coupon was like, "Yeah, come to our station for a free sample." Where are we at? Yeah, one of the ladies handed me a kinky curly little um postcard and it was like the very first all natural product line is for specifically for curly hair. I was like, "Yeah, I already know about kinky curly, but still." Visit Urban Bella booth 301A for samples, sweet deals, and free gift with purchase. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go to the Urban Bella booth. I had to wait in line forever. And then one of the ladies was um, checking with the people in line, making sure they're in line for the right thing or whatever. And I showed her the little postcard. She was like, oh, you're here for the samples. Okay, and she moved on. I finally get up there, and it's my turn to see what they got going on. And I was like, yeah. I'm... And she was like... Oh, this. No, you don't get any samples unless you purchase something. That's that's the free gift with purchase. You could have told me that when I first got in the line. For real? For real? I'm going to have to pay $75 just to get some samples? That, that's not adding up for me. And you only selling stuff in sets? What if I don't want the whole set? What if I just wanted some leave-in conditioner? No. Mm. Mm. That ain't work for me. <laughs> Without further ado, I'll show you the stuff that I did get. 
I did get a few items and the first item that I want to talk about is the lock sock that's on my head right now I got it in this color and a black one which one black one yeah it's about that big and what is it Shades of Color Lock Sock, the complete hair accessory. Fresh looks for spring. Whether you have locks, braids, or an afro, straight, curly, long, or short hair that you would like to accentuate with a little something, the Lock Sock is the perfect hair accessory for you. A wide and variety selection of over 200 colors and prints and the versatility to be worn more than 20 different ways makes the Lock Sock the complete hair accessory. Use the Lock Sock as a protective wrap for your hair at night or when you're in a dusty environment. The Lock Sock is the perfect complement to any outfit and makes a wonderful fashion statement. I'll put their website in the box as well, but um, their little card also shows you some of the styles that you can do with it along with directions, and I asked her, will video, are videos online so I'll know how to work with that? And she was like, yeah, yeah, we have videos on our site, www.socklocksock.com, and I like, clearly I'm not wearing it in any of the styles. I think. Well, maybe the pushback, I guess. But I'm excited to try that. To try these styles out. Cause sometimes I just don't be feeling like doing something. You you know how it is sometimes. But um, yeah, these two lock socks, and then I got a bag from. Who's this bag from? Unities. And it says, my scalp is the soil enriched with oil and the butter of shea from mother's land, cultivating discipline, patience, wisdom as seeds grow towards cornrows, braids, and froes. The fruit is twisted wildly, freely, blackberries on a vine, they're mine and I shine. Let it grow, my magnificent cloud, high as the heavens above, or lock it down, heavy. Thanking Job Brothers for providing strength to bear it, wear it, a revolutionary's crown. There are yams in my garden, in my barn, nourished, valuable, organically sewn cotton spun into yarn. Discovering self while the journey reaches towards the final resting layer. We are natural without chemical or synthetic blends. Proudly displaying ourselves from within. Through our hair, it's mine and I shine. That's a messenger bag. And I wanted... I really wanted the khaki one and they had two of them and one of them you couldn't read all the words on it and the other one someone wiped their lipstick on it and then there was the brown one and there's um, like a faded olive type color but yeah I got the brown one even though I really want the khaki one <laughs> but there was just so much stuff there. Like there was a foot scrubber station and a place where people could get henna tattoos. And it was just there was even places where they were selling weave. They were doing performances the whole time on one stage. They had another stage for just people doing hair. I guess it was a hair competition. There was a stage in the back for the poetry people. And then there were workshops going on in other places in the Congressional Center, like down the hallway. It was just a lot going on at once. And that was my first time being to a hair show. So I, I don't think I took in everything that I should have took in, but I'm glad that I experienced it. So next time I'll really know how to cover more ground and keep it together. <laughs> I think I was just shocked at the the sheer magnitude of everything that was going on at once. But, hey, I also got to say, all the stuff that I showed you is the stuff that I'll be keeping for myself. I also made a little bag for my friend that wasn't able to come. And one of them is a Target coupon for a dollar off of Miss Jessie's at Target. Um, some of the cards from the different companies and a style guide and I even got her some samples as well for when she comes to visit yeah I, I try to be a good friend <laughs> yeah I made her a little bag and overall I'm happy that I went I was expecting more samples. You have no, I was there for a long time in order to collect these samples.